And we have kind of a potpourri for you, John, of of mosquito-borne diseases, because yeah. in fact, there are a lot of reports over the past two weeks about outbreaks of mosquito-borne diseases, which to me is a bit unusual because we're, we're heading kind of towards the end historically of what would be mosquito season, but that'll be something we're going to talk about. So let's start off here with West Nile virus. So the Minnesota Department of Health has declared 2025 an outbreak year for the West Nile virus with 107 confirmed cases and 10 deaths as of the 13th of October. And this marks the second highest case count in state history. Now, the thing that's important to understand here is that you're also seeing increases in neighboring states, such as North Dakota and South Dakota, both of whom have had over um, 80 cases and several deaths. And as of last week, the United States overall was reporting 1,564 human cases, including over 1,000 of those being the ones that infect the brain. So really what you're seeing is much more widespread and sustained transmission um, across the United States, and particularly in areas that weren't as heavily hit in the past. 